Hey guys, Will here. And I'm with my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I meant to do that on pur- purpose. All right. You know? Hey guys. <laughs> I did well, that on William purpose. William said kind of. <laughs> but, um, anyways. Do you want to talk? No. No, I'll let you talk. Okay, so we've decided. Um, if you watched our like going over the year video, we decided to go back to the original format of After roasting ourselves. Yes, of um, just doing like multiple topics in one video. I know they're longer videos, but we're gonna like get more topics in. I think, and also it allows us to have more freedom in what we talk about. We don't have to be bound to just this one topic. So. That's what we're going to do. And also, starting this week, we're going to have a trivia question every week. You don't get anything for getting it right, but it's no, just No, you fun get a million dollars. Oh, no. I don't have that money. <laughs> Dang. Um, so, the one, the one for this week's... Oh, I forgot to say we were, what we were talking about today. So, we're going to be starting off with a time out Mortal Kombat, but in... Eventually, we'll go into other topics. That's where we're starting with. That's our main theme for yes. this video. And I think we're going to talk about Spider-Man. And if we have time, um, we have a few topic ideas that I think we could talk about. So um, we'll just edit something. And if we um, do talk about it, or we'll put it in the title, whatever, either or. Um, so this week's trivia question since we're talking about Mortal Kombat, that's like the main focus why we're doing this video. Is um the trivia question is how many playable characters were in the original Mortal Kombat? So are we gonna be like uh kind of mean with this where that we keep the answer hidden until the end? I mean I don't know, what do you wanna do? Yeah, we could do that. We'll keep it at the right. end because if I comment it, everyone who goes to comment answer. Or I have. Could just like, or we could just give a few seconds and then. Yeah. Okay. True. True. Okay. Well, William guessed six, but he forgot. Raiden. It's actually seven. Yeah. I this was the before the, This was before the video happened. William goes, you know, there's six, and I was like. There's actually seven William, which William is a huge Mortal Kombat fan. This is not my realm of knowledge at all, but William kind of has introduced me to it, and he knows so much about it. Yep. So, in talking about Mortal Kombat, we're talking about powers and built and abilities within Mortal Kombat, right? Mm-hmm. Like, kind of why they have their powers, and I have a theory in particular on why powers occur. Um, William somewhat agrees with it, but he also does not agree with it. He thinks it's too complicated. So, um, before we start talking about that theory, like, I think we should talk about types of powers within Mortal Kombat. So, I'll I'll start this off. When it comes to Mortal Kombat, uh, the power system is a little weird. Because there's no, like, main source that everyone gets their powers from the same place. It really comes from different areas. So um, for some characters, they get it through their bloodline, which isn't good enough for Lincoln. <laughs> but um, we get it from the bloodline. Some people get it from magic, like straight up, you know, magic. Uh, some people get it from where they live. And um, some people uh, use technology to keep Whoa. up with the power yeah i would include tech i didn't even think about technology i was more focused on like genetic powers but yeah um so one of the most obvious like powers i can think of within mortal combat is sorcery like using magic of course there's different types of magic within the mortal combat universe um you could put it all in one like big category though yes i agree but the most notable example i think of how different types of magic works is um shao Kahn trained scarlet you know the 
I almost said blood vendor. The blood magic user. Yeah, yeah. Um, blood magic. And basically, there's a quote by Shao Kuan. Shao Kahn and basically I didn't think she could handle soul magic because it's too powerful and um so that's an example of different types of powers of course soul magic is the most powerful type of magic so there are other users of blood magic too yes like Kotal Khan is a example yes. he doesn't use it to the extent he just like has it as like a extra ability and is there any type of other magic you can think of within the Mortal Kombat universe? Well, there's the, you mentioned it prior, the soul uh, magic. Mm -hmm. Then there's the necromancer. Yes, okay. Magic is another big one. There's other ones probably sprinkled in there that I can't think of at the moment. But if I, I will, through when we're talking, if they pop in my, in my head, I'll, I'll mention them. Um... And of course, I think the, gosh, why am I sucking with names today? Today's, today's not the name to suck with names. The primary user I think of when I think of soul magic um, is, golly, what? Shang Tsung. Yes. Oh my gosh. Why can't I think of names? Yeah. Um, just because of how well he uses it. You know, and, then, and how. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's most known for being able to, like in the games, he can steal your soul, see your yeah, steal your soul, while he's in combat with someone, and then he can turn into them. Well, not really like steal all of their soul, but like gets like a little bit of it so he can copy the character's move set and look. But then he can also just straight up take your soul, which he does to a lot of characters. Yes, and then he can use his moves, like their moves, like you said. Yeah. Um, now, the biggest necromancer is Quan Chi. Yes. Well, he's the most known one. There is this other character, which is really powerful. Called Onaga, the Dragon King. Yes, but we really haven't really haven't seen his full power, right? He was only in two games. So he was in uh, Deception and Armageddon, which were made in like 2006, 2005, 2006, I think. And, um, he was mentioned prior, but he was really introduced in those games. He's most known for having an army of undead soldiers. That's that's why you could consider him a necromancer. But he also, I would say, is proficient in the soul magic as well. Yes. I mean, he... I... He's really powerful in general. That's just like why sorcerers come to my mind first when I think of powers. I don't know why. but um, No, I mean, that makes sense because those are like the main people who use those magics. Or but, um, the next type of power, I don't know if you want to move on or not or you want to keep talking about this. I mean, I'm good with moving on. Yeah, so um, we're going to ignore... Um, Basically, the Elder Gods. Yes. Like, because they have the power of life, light, and, like, death, you know. Just to give some example, examples of, like, Cetrion and then Shinnok. But um, we're going to ignore that because that's a different type of power, I think. I'm just talking about, like, basic people within the Mortal Kombat universe. Not that all the... You, you get what I'm saying. Not characters, that the characters that aren't gods. Yes, basically. Um, besides Raiden, because um, I think we should talk about the elementals still. Mm -hmm. But um, just not Elder Gods, just because that's just another realm. And I know Raiden was an Elder God, but we could also use Rain. So, um, yeah, you're right. If they're not pure Elder. Yes. So um, the next one that comes to my mind is fire 
You mean like just the uh uh like ability to use fire? Yes. So like Lu Kang or Scorpion. Yeah. So I would say fire fits into multiple of those categories where there's like they can use the fire through their bloodline or through magic. Yes, or through because training. Because that's how Scorpion gained his powers through magic. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe we shouldn't go like list by list. Like these people do this. Other ones I can think of is like Earth, um, Trimmer, of course, uh, Ice, Water, um, with Rain, Rain, and then Sub Zero with the Ice. Sub Zero with the Ice. Can you shadow. think of any more? Yes, Shadow, and Which then is, also uh, by someone. Um, Speed. Speed and Cabal. Yes. He has that actually through magic. Yes. And I'll touch on this later, but um, a lot of characters have power through magic, and I believe my theory is a decent one because, I don't know, I just like my theory because I like to have a reasoning behind stuff, not just, oh, it's a genetic thing that happens from time to time, or it's a thing, you know? You just can't accept it. I cannot accept that. That just bothers me. So <laughs> I've developed a theory. But um, before we get to that, I just want to continue talking about uh, different types of like powers within the Mortal Kombat universe. I mean, you have the um, the tech. So that includes most of the special forces characters, mm-hmm. which is Sonya, Jax, Jackie, and... You can include uh, Cassie as well. That's you true. You know, she has, like, her um, war coat. Um, it's really... I don't know if they would consider this a power, but this is very helpful. This does help characters. Is fighting prow- prowess? <laughs> what is? Fighting prowess. Oh, like, you mean... Uh, okay, I thought you were going to say something that helps their fighting prowess. Oh. You just mean, like, fighting prowess. Yes, because, you know, it is a fighting tournament. Of course, you can have all these powers, but, like, if you can't fight... It, well, yeah, it, there was a lot of jobbers. Dude, do, do you know what a jobber is? No. Jobbers are the guys... Uh, it's a term from wrestling. I like WWE. Basically, they're the guys who are paid to lose to make people look good. So, the jobbers in Mortal Kombat are like Reptile. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I really actually like Reptile, but he's a jobber. Baraka is a jobber. Um, Frost is a jobber. Yeah, you, know, you have those characters that are just kind of used as stepping stones. Those are the jobbers. That's true. Um, gosh, there's so many different types of powers within the Mortal Kombat universe now that I'm thinking about it. Like, yeah, I don't know if we can mention every single one, you know? But I mean, a lot of it is uh, just skill, like fighting prowess. You have a, that use technology sometimes. Like, mm-hmm. there's um, Kano. Whose only technology is his laser eye. But, um, you know, he fights, uh, you know, with his fists and knives and guns. And you have, um, Kira, who's a character you probably actually aren't familiar with. She's an associate of Kanos, who basically just uses a knife in her legs to fight. Huh. Um, then there's, what was his name? I forgot what his name is, but there's this guy who just uses martial arts. He's not that impressive. Doesn't Luke... Luke... Luke Kang? Not Luke Kang. Um, Kung Lao? Yes, doesn't he have powers of some sort? Yeah, I'm, I think it's... Well, his strength probably does come from genetics, but... Um, his abilities, I think, are just Shaolin teachings that he uses. I thought he could teleport. 
Yeah, I think that's just like a straight up Shaolin teaching. Mm. Like, I think Liu Kang's fireballs are Shaolin teachings. And in, in Mortal Kombat, and they get it through training and. That's weird to me. I mean, they um, may be inherently part of their power set. They just don't know how to use it. You know? Okay. Yes. So, um, I guess I'm going to touch on my theory now. Is that okay? Or you want to yep. keep talking? Go for about... it. So, I'm not a huge Mortal Kombat person. Like, I've looked into it a little bit. But, um, I was looking into it for um, this video. And I noticed a common trend of, hey, this power person got powers from magic right so one of the most notable examples um i like to use in this theory is um johnny cage and then cassie cage so johnny cage got his powers from magic right uh it was a cult or whatever that did you know and got him his powers so therefore he has powers and passed them on to cassie cage so my theory is basically you receive your powers from magic and then you pass them down genetically and you could either have a chance of getting it or not. Just like any random genetical chance. I don't know the outcome, like the probability of you possessing that because I <laughs> I didn't go through and calculate it. I'm not about to do that. Yeah. But, um, but Basically, my theory is if Cabal had kids, his kids would have the potential or his ancestors, like, you know, his um, grandkids or whatever would have the potential to have the power of speed. I don't know about Cabal, actually. It, it depends on which version you're talking about here. But he did technically... Not... technically what? Well, um, he gets his powers through a mix of magic and technology, right? Yes, but I thought it was he's just like solely Darth Vader, magic. but like and Darth Vader stays alive through the Force and through technology. I thought his powers from from magic, but anyways. Well, you see, the reason why I don't know if it's if it's that might be a plot hole actually because, um. Because in, in MK9, you see Cabal as just his regular police officer. He gets yes. burnt by Kintaro, which is the, like, tiger-formed guy. Yes, I know who that is. And then um, Kano brings him back and gets, I think, Shang Tsung. Might have been Quan Chi. Gets Shang Tsung to do, like, some magic on him and then... He puts like respirators and Darth Vader's in up. And then Cabal all of a sudden has super speed. Right? So you would assume assume he has it through magic. But then in Mortal Kombat eleven, they did all that time stuff. So it screwed up everything. Right? You don't uh -huh. like time stuff. But <clears throat> earlier you fight Kano. I'm sorry, no, you don't fight Kano. Yeah, you fight cabal at some point like a younger version and um not that he exhibits super speed in the cutscene but you know he uses super speed to fight so i wonder if that's just like oh he that game mk11 is just being weird with it or if i'm just looking too into it you know yes well that's a that's a chance because what we do see is as vast as the Mortal Kombat lore is, it's not very consistent, it doesn't seem. It's because of all the different time resets. And, like, Mortal Kombat's great, right? But I don't think it's as planned out as other things. Like, I don't think they thought it was going to be as big as it was. Or as it is now, right? So well, I think the lore got really messy in mk11 that is true time. but <clears throat> i would say the war got really messy after they changed the timeline the first time well yeah when they did 
they changed a bunch of backstories. They changed the main part of the universe because there's these things. I don't know if you how much you've looked into this part. Or, do you know what a kamidogu is? No, but I've heard of it. So the kamidogu. Oh, are the these, daggers. Uh, yes, the well, the daggers. They weren't originally daggers, but when they reset the timeline, they turned them into daggers. Yes, and because that's what um the dragon and onagu the dragon guy was going after right yeah so in deception you, uh, spoilers by the way i don't i don't know why you this would be considered a spoiler but just in case you haven't played deception and you actually want to go play deception um your main character of that game his name is shujinko and okay. um he you see him throughout his whole life and his whole life He's on this He's mission. Collecting the stones, right? Collecting the Kamidogu. Yes. Right? And when these Kamidogu, all six of them, I think, or five of them, five or six of them, come together, it creates the one being. And uh, basically everyone dies. But Onaga tricked Chidrinko into doing this his whole life. So that he could be revived. Because I guess it like uh, built up energy or something. I forget what the actual reason is. If you play the game, he says the reason. I can't remember. I've um, looked into the plot a little bit, so I do know some about that. But um, but yeah, oh. just big changes like that. Like they change them into actual daggers, and the daggers are more linked to blood magic now, in particular yeah. for some reason. I don't know. It gets but, messy whenever you reset the timeline. Gets I'm messy. still sticking with my theory because let's not use Cabal. Um, I feel like this is an okay example. Nightwolf. Nightwolf, okay. Nightwolf was gifted his powers by the gods, right? By, yeah, I guess, yeah. So I would say Nightwolf's ancestors have the potential... Who have his powers. Because I, now he's... I don't know if Nightwolf is actually a good example of this. Because him in particular... He's, he's, he's not a good example. chosen to be the, yes. the Nightwolf. That is true, but like... I'm trying to think of a good example, you know? Because... To, like to fit your thing, I would say... Well, I mean, you're trying to... Okay, this is a perfect character example. ...that gets his powers in the story. Yes, this okay. is a perfect example. One of your favorite characters, Smoke. Smoke, yes. Smoke got his powers from like a demon thing, right? <laughs> well, he was sacrificed. <laughs> yes. So basically now he has shadow powers. No, no not wait. shadow. A smoke power. Smoke, smoke powers, yes. I was thinking of... Um, Noob Sidemon. Be, yeah, Bihan. Um, so I'd say his children are predisposed to having... Shadow powers now. Smoke powers. I get what you're saying. Yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> God, I, I feel like that's possible, but I don't know. Because we don't know. We don't have any tests. You know, well, we, we don't have his kids. I know, but that's entirely... I think the thing that just is the backbone of this theory is the cages. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if the cages were not if, like, Cassie did not have powers, I wouldn't feel like this theory would apply. I think it would be random. You know what? I have a good one for you, actually. This is a better example than Cage's that fits your theory. Okay. You go. So, Kenshi. So, Kenshi's story is he wasn't really telekinetic, but oh, he was just a really good swordsman. Right. And then he got betrayed by Shang Tsung because Shang Tsung's like, hey, man, this ancient family grave that's your ancestors. There's this dope sword down there. And you should go down there. He goes down there. Shang Tsung blinds him and then seals all his family's souls. And then uh so Kenshi uses his sword that helps him gain telekinesis. And he has a kid and Takeda has telekinesis. Yes. So like, or, example, not like, like telekinesis. But he has telepathy? We haven't seen him 
use his powers to his full extent yet, so we don't know exactly what he has, but he has at least telepathy. So, I do think there is a correlation between it, because it seems like they are setting up a correlation. Hello? I mean, Jackie didn't have robot arms. You know, I'm just saying. You know, she can come out with I'm robot arms. I'm not talking arms. about robots. That's what I'm, and technology-wise, that's random, right? Yeah. And of course, um, you can get in powers from magic, is what I'm saying. But once you have those powers, it's genetically passed down. There's yeah. a chance. There's a chance. I, I would say... That's definitely part of Mortal Kombat. I, I just, your reasoning for this is that, like, hey, you're trying to get to the origin of why, like, people like Sub Zero. Yes, and, basically. And other people just have these powers. Because we yeah. know that um, Sub Zero or Kwai Liang and Bihan's father was a cryomancer. But we don't know how. We think it was just genetic, right? But you're like, well, if it's genetic, it's genetic because magic was bestowed upon his family line. That's what That's I what think. It. Which, it makes, I mean, it could be, but we just don't know. It makes sense, I understand sense, your perspective. Doesn't it? it does make sense. It's just we don't know, you know? Yes, I know we don't know, but this is just a theory. Of course, we were not, we're not going to know. It's a theory of why I it's think just it is this theory. way. And I, use, I know I use some bad examples like Nightwolf and stuff, but um, it's just, you know, I feel like it's pretty plausible. Yeah. I mean, I agree that it's plausible. For sure. It's just I a mean, theory. So, I guess now, just to have some fun, who, who has your favorite powers? Well, my favorite character is Smoke. And I think I like him the most because of his powers. I've always been drawn to, like, I guess gas abilities, to say. Gas abilities. I'll say gas abilities. Huh. Well, I'd have to say the character that has my favorite powers is Rain. Rain is in my top three for sure. Um, he... I don't like his personality too much. I just really like his design and abilities is why I like I him so much. I don't either, but I really like his power set. I think it's really cool. You know, it helps when you're half god. It does. It does, yeah. Um, It's just, I think he has a really just cool power set in general within Mortal Kombat. Because Raiden's awesome, right? But he mm -hmm. has another power on top of that. Yeah. But I just think that's... I don't know. Of course, powers within the Mortal Kombat universe are always going to be a mystery. Well, maybe not always be a mystery. It's just... With the way I the story is going with, like, Elder God Liu Kang, um, I just feel like they're not going to focus on stuff like that. Well, we have no idea what's going to happen. Anything could yeah. happen. I feel like Elder Gone Liu Kang was cool, right? But I feel like it was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically, he's Fire God Liu Kang. I, okay. Nobody's the Elder God now, isn't he? True. Because all the other ones are dead. And he has just control over time. So, yeah, makes sense. Um, then, um, yeah. Maybe they're going to go more to the Titans, like, you know how Kronika was a Titan? They probably would have to, because, well, one thing is, I'm wondering how the whole one being fits in this, because he's, when all the realms are put back together. So is he, like, the end-all, like, the strongest thing? Because it took the Elder Gods to, like, tear him apart and stuff. So, if there's Titans now. I don't, 
don't know if they're even focusing on the one bean. Like, is the one bean still part of the? I don't even. I don't even know because the kami dogus are daggers. Then. So, I don't know. Like, it's just really hard to say. Like, I'm not. Of course, I'm not as versed in this as you are, but it's just a lot. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of war. It's a lot of stuff. Just the changes, like it was a lot before, right? You, there's a lot of like lore and stuff, but now it's like you don't know what is what. Yeah, the rules have been broken for a second time. So now we have no idea how it's gonna be going. We have no idea what direction. But um, I just think that's a plausible theory and I just Mortal Kombat power powers are just weird in general. It's just I they mean are. ultimately it's designed to be a game and as long as you get enjoyment out of it, that's what matters. But I would like to know. <laughs> you know Yes, just, the lore. Just, just as someone who you know, they're building upon lore so heavily that it would be nice to know. Like a common question, I feel. Mm -hmm. All well, right. I mean, is there is there anything else you want to say about the uh, power system of Mortal mm -hmm. Kombat? It's stupid now because, like, I don't know. You want to expect the Mortal Kombat characters to? T I don't know. It's just weird because, like. Johnny Cage can take on Shinnok. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense sometimes. He can take on Elder Gods. Yes. But he's susceptible to like... Well, he's, he's like one of those characters where it's like... um, Man, there's a really good anime comparison here. But uh, you wouldn't understand it. So he's a character where like... He's really s strong against a certain type of enemy. Right? Oh. So it's like, hey, you have this weak guy, but he has a strength against. Well, no, it's, it's more like this, right? Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. His strength is taking on gods. His weaknesses, <laughs> everyone else. Hey, Those are his that's not a bad thing at all, though. He can fight gods, but he can't fight a guy with swords coming out of his head. <laughs> It's just too tough. I mean, it's just it's weird stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. As someone who just got into Mortal Kombat, I do think I'm, I'm going to start playing the games. You should. Just because I remember you talking to me about them, and I was like, "Oh, okay, like whatever, William." I was kind of listening, but it was so much information. I was like, I don't know if I can ever get invested in this. But now looking into it, um, it is a lot, but it's fun to look at. It's like anything like Marvel, for example. You're building a universe, essentially. Yeah, for sure. I, so, I do enjoy the concept. So... I guess we're moving on to Spider-Man now. I guess, yeah. Um, so as the time of we're recording this, um, yesterday, not even twenty-four hours ago, like they it was released yesterday, it, like thirty. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. It was, it was like, two days ago. No, it wasn't. No way. Yes, it was. Because yesterday no, was wasn't. um Tuesday. It was released on Monday. No, it wasn't. You're crazy. You're right. It was Monday. So, two days ago, not even two days ago, um, the Spider-Man teaser trailer. So that's just a teaser trailer. So, I'm expecting a certain Spider-Man to be in the actual trailer, hopefully. Which certain Spider-Man? <laughs> I think you know which certain, certain Spider-Man. I want to be in it. 
Okay. The same Spider-Man everyone else wants in it. I mean, I know some people are hyped for Andrew Garfield. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. But well, there's I, a couple I things know, we know. I know that's not who you're talking about. I'm about Bully McGuire. You know the the memes? Yes, I do know. Yes, because I've sent you those, those meme videos. But um, what's interesting about that trailer is you see three villains. Well, you basically see three villains, at least. You have Electro, which is the lightning strike. Yes, but his lightning's yellow. Yellow. Now. It's not it's not Electro from Andrew Garfield's Spider Man. But I'm pretty sure it's still being played by um Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, yeah. It's still gonna be played as him, but it's gonna be like hopefully a good one. Um then we have the Green Goblin. Oh yeah, I mean I don't think it's spoilers because it's a teaser trailer. But um, watch the trailer; it's good. But um, it's really the Green good. Goblin grenade, which I think we know what that means. We hear the laugh. What if? Hear me out. I know everybody wants to see William Defoe Green Goblin. Do you really want to his... see ep- the episode three? The third, not the third, but the the kid goblin. That's what I'm going to call him. The hobgoblin. Is he? Is he the hobgoblin? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but my friend has a theory that Ned is going to become the hobgoblin. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. Because the Hobgoblin's name within comics is Ned Le- Leeds, and that's his name within the movie. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't think he's... Well, we're going to see, hopefully, the Green Goblin. I don't... The Hobgoblin can be there in another movie. The Hobgoblin setting up part of the Sinister Six. Never the Green up. Goblin was never part of the Sinister Six. But everyone wants the Green Goblin to be part of it. Okay, fair enough. So, I mean, they've been setting up. Uh, they're setting up a Sinister Six because you have Doctor Octopus, which is an amazing, amazing portrayal. And in, in Spider Man Two, you know. Spider Man, the first Sam Raimi Spider Man movies have like the best villains. You know, that's just my opinion. I don't know if you, uh, like, I personally think I would agree. Doc Ock and William Defoe's Green Goblin are better than Thanos. Uh, I would say they're better than Thanos, but. Not in the grand scale that Thanos, like the position Thanos had, I will say is far greater, far greater. But um, I think they're just better done characters, not even just villains. Like they're better characters. Like you actually spend time with these characters because they both start out as good guys. We're not like. The best people on Earth, but like, they're not bad guys. William Defoe's um, trying to remember what the character's name is. Uh, Harry, not Harry, not Harry. Um, Osborne. Um, I know it's Osborne. Osborne. But I was like, it's not Harry. That's the son. Uh, well, whatever no. his name is, but he plays Norman. Norman, Norman. Osborne, right? He plays Norman Osborne. And, you know, Norman Osborn is just this good guy trying to be dad to his kid, being friendly to Peter Parker. And then he's trying to secure this this contract to try to, like, uh, make humans stronger and this and that. And then while he's testing, he gets basically, like, basically his mind gets messed up, you know? 
he yeah. gets messed up just like he goes crazy and then he gets fired from his own company that he started and that just breaks him. and then he goes on a, on a rampage the and... guy that's playing Doc Ock is 68 years old really yes I don't even remember what the actor's name is but uh, what's his name Alfred Molina or something doesn't age, man. doesn't age. That's, like, ridiculous. I can't believe he's 68. Yeah. Well, that means he was, like, what, you said he's 58? He's 68 right now. 68 right now. So that means, like, 20 years ago, he was 48 when he was... Well, not 48, but, like, a little bit younger. But he was, like, 40-something when he played Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2. That's insane. Well, that Dr. Doc, Dr. Octopus. You see, this is kind of weird, right? I thought about this as I was watching a teaser trailer. Which kind of ruined it for me. They're both dead. <laughs> so. I don't oh, know how they're there. You're right. Are you going to be mad if we don't see other Spider-Man? <laughs> Spider-Man? I'm going to be disappointed. I won't be mad. I'll be disappointed. No, but it's yeah. just kind of like. It's kind of weird though, right? Because if they are having William Defoe's Green Goblin. Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin has been dead for like a year or two before that Doc Ock showed up. So those might not even be the Sam Raimi characters. Just the same actors playing those characters but from alternate realities. Which would be disappointing because I would wish that they were from the first Spider-Man movies. But they're both dead in those, in those. So, it's kind of weird. You know? And isn't Electro dead as well? I don't know. I don't remember that movie. But that Electro is like a blue Electro. This is like classic yellow. Not, I mean, of course he's not the guy in that goofy suit, but he's like yellow Electro. You know, I actually don't think Jamie Foxx is the right person to play Electro. That's just my opinion. You know, one thing I remember about the amazing Spider-Man 2's Electro, I felt You're... so sad. I felt so sad for that guy. Oh, like, yeah. Jimmy Fox knows how to make a sad character. He and does. I, you he's... Know, he's just a good actor. He's an amazing actor, but he doesn't have the sporadic personality, I think, that um, you would need for Electro. When I think about my favorite role season, Django, he plays like this cool guy, right? Cool Western guy. I can't think of any role he's done where he's been like a scatterbrain, um, like extra. I wouldn't say extra, exuberant, exuberant mad scientist guy. That's but like, guy. you watched Spider Man when you were younger, right? Yeah. I just remember Spider, or I mean Electro, just being like this, like, off the walls crazy guy that you'd expect someone with electricity to be, you know? Yeah. And, um, I don't know if that fits, but, um, we mentioned we saw Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Electro. We sort of said Sandman. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. People are just assuming Sandman. Are we going to get, well, we, if you think about the characters we've seen already, I have the Vulture is around, but I wouldn't think of him. Scorpion's also guy. around. Scorpion is? Well, he's not the Scorpion yet. 
Oh, where where is he? He's in jail. The guy, um, the he's like, oh, do you know Spider Man's identity? He's like, no, that was you. Shocker. I thought. No, that was uh, I thought that was Scorpion. Maybe I don't know. Scorpion's a cool character, though, so I would be happy to see him. I mean, this movie really is cashing in on that nostalgia, and I really enjoyed the Doctor Strange parts of the teaser trailer. I did too. That was awesome. But when I think about it, I'm just kind of like, I feel like this might be a bad movie. I agree. I don't know what they're going to do. Like, there's just going to be so much going on. The premise is just kind of like, not when I say trash, I mean in the sense of like, not that it's bad necessarily. It's just like, it's so messed up that there's like no way to it'd be weird to try to fix it fix that situation is and now they're adding in the multiverse which makes the story kind of which yeah. which makes cool stuff possible but makes this story ultimately you like not that important you know yeah because I, if i'm being honest i don't think they have the right people in the sinister six either like my ideal senator or the sinister six i would want is scorpion mm-hmm. right either the one that was in the and the end of the sony um the sony amazing spider-man or the one that was in prison with the vulture so scorpion rhino the one that was in the end of amazing spider-man electro the mechanical suit thing yes i thought that was awesome okay I like um, just this really big dude with like a plastic rhino horn. I don't know I about mean, you. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. I feel like it would be better if it was just a mechanical suit. It would fit more in this MCU cuz the style that they go for is like technology over like superhuman stuff, you know. That's true. So, cuz um, the vulture isn't like a straight up bird guy. He's just a guy who uses technology. You know. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Someone called me. Hello? Oh yeah, I was just waiting I didn't know if you were ready to. But um but like I was saying, the MCU goes for this vibe where oh. they do technology over like superhuman stuff. So the vulture was using technology. He didn't actually have bird wings, right? And he was a yes. guy. Then you have... Um, I mean, Volt- oh yeah, because in the comics he has that, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, kind of just the movies in general have been doing um, more technology-based for the villains. Like the Rhino in Amazing Spider-Man was mechanical. Um, but... MCU definitely goes for that vibe where all everything comes from technology. technology. Yeah. I feel like that would be a smart approach too, because like in the Spider-Man game, um, you see that I think that some of the suits, like the Scorpion suit, came from Doc Ock. Um, but yeah, so, so having like an actual like Scorpion stinger on his back. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I don't think it was ever ever an actual scorpion stinger. I always just thought it had venom in it. I think because it was... the, no, because it was originally it was um not a scorpion stinger. It was just like a tail, like an electronic tail that was meant for punching stuff. Like just it was a powerful tail. I thought, but maybe not. I can I can look into it after this. I might be completely wrong. McDonald um, Garden. Let's see here. So, I think sometimes he has like an actual stinger, but who can say? 
I think originally he didn't, though. Maybe. Um, so, I said... I said Electro. I said Scorpion. I said Rhino. Dr. Oc- Octopus. Um, Which one? Vulture? Vulture. And then I'm trying to think of one more. Scream would be awesome. Really? But um Hobgoblin is the thing the thing Hob I think Goblin. is most likely. Um and that would be my Sinister Six. But I don't know. What would your Sinister Six be? It would be I would I would put it. What I'm thinking is like most that would be the best on like on screen probably. So Scorpion, huh? I'm thinking like what would be the best? My, I, oh. Yeah, best for the MCU, like the ideal MCU one. Um, I think Scorpion. I think Vulture, but I don't think that's actually a viable option because I think Vulture isn't like that bad of a guy, you know. But Vulture. Yeah. But it would be cool still. It would still be cool. Vulture. I don't know. I think Rhino. Well, you need a bruiser. So I don't know what other character you could have besides Rhino that would be the bruiser. I mean, I think the bruiser in this one is the lizard. The lizard. He's going to be in it. He is. Mm, mm, mm. Which I didn't really like that character. So I didn't I wouldn't... like it. I wouldn't put him in that, so that's why I said Rhino would be. I would my choose pick. Rhino instead too, as the Bruiser. So you um, have Scorpion, Vulture, or did you not say Vulture? Vulture, yeah, Vulture, Rhino. So Rhino. we kind of have like a similar kind of list, but um, I mean, then I, I would say, if I had to say, maybe a couple of Shocker. Shocker. Oh, yes. I didn't even think of that one. That seems like a plausible one. For the MCU, it does. And then the last one, I'm going to say Green Goblin. Even though you don't like that. I know, just because he was never part of the Sinister Six. But, um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of another one. Like, people in the Sinister Six. I think Dr. Ock has to be in it, because he starts the Sinister Six. Well, yeah. He's not, like... The the Doc Ock from the original Spider-Man movies isn't, like... He's a scientist, and he does make his own, like, I guess, spider. Is it, well, not spider, it's octopus. Makes his oct- octo-claws things. But he, he doesn't seem like the brainiac that Doc Ock. I mean, is in the we've had this conversation before. I mean, I always criticize Marvel for dumbing down their characters. Yeah. Because T'Challa should have been way smarter than he was. Is that is that the third topic for this video? Why I this mean, doesn't make sense? Why does why... Marvel dumb down all their characters? That that makes me so mad because, like, if anything, at least from my perspective, you like to see smart characters. You like to see characters that are like, oh, this is be- like this because of that, because it fills in a lot of gaps. Even Doctor Strange is kind of dumb because he does this. He does this spell in the first place. He He's... Doctor Strange is, like, arrogant, but this Doctor Strange takes it to like a kind of different level where he's dumb but he's like you know what I'm not worried I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do and everything's gonna work out because I'm the sorcerer supreme yeah well he's he's kind of like bathing in the glory because they defeated Thanos so he's just kind of like I, you know what we're invincible um... but also that's That's you have to have characters like that in order to 
Yeah. It's so like the story. For plot. Yeah, for plot. But um you make Doctor Strange dumb, T'Challa was dumb. Um Iron Man was smart with technology, but he made stupid decisions in this movie. You could uh, I don't know if that if you want to just chalk that up to like plot convenience. Well, but I, I think he's dumbed them down in certain situations. I would agree with that. It's just, you know, this is Spider-Man's one thing done. about this is one thing about generalizing something that has like been so. I hate to use this word like nerdy, like usually general audiences don't care for details like that in general but like when you get down to someone who like really cares about this stuff they like to be filled on filled in on why like i know i was really long wrong on my loki theory like oh it's not going to be like this because of this but i still feel like the time travel thing is still like a major why within the universe well, we talked about, I know I mentioned that whole idea where it's like, if the Avengers were supposed to time travel, then Loki was supposed to also, like, get away with the Tesseract so that they could go get a new Tesseract from back before. So it was Yes, and also, happen. I was having a conversation with someone else, and they brought up the fact that the TVA exists outside of time, so therefore the TVA or um or Kang could not have changed the TVA because it exists outside of time. Unless he made his own TVA. But it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I think um, there might be multiple TVA. TVAs. <sighs> but anyways, going back to the the characters, what a lot of people are saying. So, Doctor Octopus, Green Goblin, because we saw the bomb, Electro, the Lightning, Sandman, because there was sand within the Lightning or something. I remember seeing that, and I remember people talking about that. And then you see this one scene in the trailer where something like big runs towards like a shield that Doctor Strange has, and like kind of bounces off. And people are either like, "That's the Lizard," or "That's Venom." So it's either we have. Let me look at that. Actually. Um, so it's either we have the lizard or venom, but um, yeah. So there's that one scene, and that happens. So let me look at this teaser. Trailer. Um, my prediction, besides hobgoblin, I think green goblin's gonna die, and then hobgoblin's gonna happen, or well, not even die. Like hobgoblin or Ned is going to find some of green goblin stuff. And take it and become the Hobgoblin. But my theory, because this was rumored a long time ago, is Craven the Hunter. Craven the Hunter would be so cool. That would be so cool. I love Craven. Okay, let me. You literally could just look up online lizard <laughs> lizard scene within, within. No, I want to see this. Something bouncing off you said. Also, I don't like MJ. This is like a a, a different thing. This- you calling me. Everybody is calling me today. I have no clue why. Mr. Popular. Um, let's see here. Wong is there. Wan is there. That's the name. He's, he's in Shang-Chi, right? Yes. When does Shang-Chi take place? Like, he's going to go get attacked by the abomination in that chain. I mean, a chain match. I don't know where he's going. I don't know either. Um, we have the world just destroying itself, I guess. You're echoing. Am I? Yes. 
Okay, give me a moment. Am I echoing still? A little bit, but not as bad. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, Let's see here. Is it? We have the Green Goblin gridded. This explosion. Be careful what you wish for. Then you get Doc Ock. Hello, Peter. Did it happen already? Did I skip it? Where was this something bouncing off Doctor Strange's stuff? Here's the Electro thing. Okay, let's just take it slow right here. Let me s slow it down then. Here we go. Because I know it's like a darker... Maybe not that slow, but... No, nah, we're going that slow. See, there's like sand. Yeah. I don't know if that's just like... It could be. I don't know. What What is he doing here? Is he fighting no Spider-Man? I don't think he is. I think he's helping Spider-Man in some sense. Oh, those are trains. Right okay. here. Right here. I right think. here? Yes. It's in a scene similar to this. No. You see something, it's like in the scene like that, and you see something run and hit. I don't know where it is, but I just saw a thing on like the internet when I was looking through. If happy getting arrested. Oh, there is the sand. Actually, let me go ahead and go back here. I might be. Uh, no. Just to see like what's what is that? What is that stuff? Yes. That might be What'd it. What'd you say? That okay, might be go. It. Yeah, because there was something running and hitting. That might have been it right there. Um, Because there's something. Let's see here. <laughs> yes, that, that. You see that? Yeah. Or was that Scorpion? I don't think that was Scorpion. But I do think that was either Lizard or Venom. Because that's what it looks like. Yeah. It's too dark to, like, see. But, yeah, it seemed like that. Um, anyways, I just found that to be very interesting. So maybe Craven the Hunter could be the, the really villain. That really set him up at all, though. I know, but you remember a long time ago when it was going to be Craven the Hunter was going to be the villain within Spider-Man? Like, the mm -hmm. next Spider-Man movie? Yeah. What if they kept him in? It's just they made it a Sinister Six movie. I don't know. Maybe if Mysterio's not actually dead. He could be part of it. That's true. What if it's all a ploy or whatever? Did Mysterio uh, die at the end of the second movie? I don't know. I think so. In the but... trailer, it said he died from the drones. The drones that you own. Slams on Dan on table. I don't know. It just, like, the more I look into it, the more I think it might be a bad movie. But the nostalgia yeah. is going to, and the characters are just going to, like, blow our minds that we might not realize it. I mean, I feel like it could be, like, in-game. Like, you know, there's so much going on that we just are like, oh my gosh, it's awesome. You know, yeah. I never had that opinion on in-game. I never thought it was one of the best Marvel movies. It was actually... It's not even in my top five, I don't think, in-game. But, um... I know a lot of people... This has become more of a common opinion now that it's been a while that in-game wasn't as good as everybody thought. Yeah. So that's just um 
you know, something I think that. I mean, I agree. But I do think you were right about that. It's just there's so much stuff going on, you know, with anything. Uh, I, mean, they're I think the most notable example that we can use probably is the new Star Wars movies. The new Star Wars movies were yeah. okay, right? But they they threw in a lot of stuff and that to distract us. But they were, it was just a mess that they were okay. So that's a mm. possibility for sure. But um, you know, I don't I don't know. I'm excited well, for making the movie. it. Okay, what's interesting is Doctor Strange is in this. Then Doctor Strange is getting his own movie, The Multiverse of Madness. So yes, I and wonder. Then Kang's gonna be in that movie, right? I think he might be. Kang's definitely in the Ant Man movie. Um, I wonder if Luke he might be in Multiverse of Madness. I think he's I mean, supposed to be. Well, they're also coming with season two of Loki. It's going to come out before that, right? The Multiverse of Menace. Yes. I think so. Scarlet Witch is going to be in it. Mm. Vision may be in it. You never know. They're definitely, like, what's it called? Like, it's starting to get... Phase four is weird. Yeah, it's going to be weird. weird. It doesn't feel as connected as it once was. Oh, it feels like they're they're doing less like character movies and they're just throwing in other characters into character movies. Like like little yes. team ups. I don't know, like the Eternals seems like completely different from something like Shang Chi. Shang Chi seems something completely different from Spider Man. It's just I don't know. Just you know weird. what? As long as they do Blade good. Because they're going to be doing a Blade movie. As long as they do him good. I'm happy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know. Well, and you don't want to all... see vampires? No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'll definitely watch the Blade movie. Just because, you know, you, you're a huge Blade fan. You're going to be like, I oh, haven't seen the original it. Blade movies, huh? No, I haven't, but I've seen scenes from them. But and I've shown you. Yes. Yeah. But I just feel like the Marvel Universe is getting to a point where it's dying down. I've said this for a while now, you know. Like, I've said this to you, and I'm like, I feel like Marvel is kind of dying down. You know, just in general, becoming less prevalent. And just not making the consistent stories that they once were. Yeah. You know, something I just realized is Ghost Riders and the MCU because of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's crazy. You know, another thing was was they're supposed to, like, introduce the Netflix shows into the MCU and Daredevil's supposed to be in this movie. But after season the teaser trailer, I don't see what room they have for Daredevil. Daredevil's supposed to be in what? This movie. What's this movie? Spider-Man No Way Home. No, he's not, is he? Yeah, but he might just be a lawyer. He might be like uh, Peter Parker's lawyer. Like, play I don't see role. what else they could do, but my, my theory's on she, Hulk being his lawyer. She could be. Because that, that seems like more of a thing you're setting up for. What's her uh, name again? That's beyond me. I forget what it's. Jennifer Walters. Is that what it is? Yes. I just looked up Daredevil Spider-Man and there's a bunch. The top stories are Spider-Man fans spot Daredevil Clue and No Way Home. Or No Way From Home trailer. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see what this clue is. <laughs> it's definitely going to be interesting. It's just we don't know a lot right now. You know, what if they didn't put William Defoe 
in the movie. I wouldn't be mad about it. They used his laugh in the teaser trailer. I That's be mad awful. About it. If they don't have him in it. I just think what they're setting up now is not going to last them a while. Like, the actors are too old. So Say that again? I feel like what they're setting up now is not going to last them. The actors are too old. So I'm, I'd be okay if that is the case. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Let me and show it does you. appear that uh, Spider-Man has the Secret War suit. Like yeah, I saw emblem. that. I was like, why is that there? It's definitely uh, going to be interesting to see how they do things. Um, let me show you the scene that people say, oh, it's terrible. Let me show you this. Like, okay, oh, it's, yeah, it's, look. it's a little thing. It's a little, little thing. It's a little. People are like, oh, this is it. This is what they think. What the heck? <laughs> like, it's Daredevil. It's him. <laughs> the, like, the rolled up white sleeves. It's him, guys. It's him. I don't know. I hope there's a guy with a white shirt walking in here. But he doesn't have his... Like that's too broad. He doesn't have his, what's it called? His cane, so I don't think that's him. Here, give me one second. Someone's knocking at my door. Yes. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Everything good? Yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about today. Yeah, I mean, that's really it. Talked about a lot. I so, like guys. We some good theories in there. We, we did get some theories in there. We got, we got a lot of theories in there. Oh, you know what? People are saying the uh, Eternals are actually... We can just end the video off with this. Uh, people are saying the Eternals maybe have Galactus in it. That would be awesome. So, like, it's like Galactus, people are saying before King was introduced, was like, hey, Galactus is going to be the Phase 4 villain. Maybe he's the Phase 5, phase five villain, or maybe he's just like a mini-villain. But um, he may be in Eternals, which means you might see the Silver Surfer in Eternals. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Well, um, so I think that's it. It sounds like it. We want to know if you got the trivia question right. They didn't. Come on now. It's so <laughs> hard. No, but um, I guess next time, guys, we're going to be doing character analysis is for at least two characters we could do for a third one but That's for true. at least two characters and um john walker here's one of them the second one is i can't remember which which is bad loki um so we may have a you know what next uh, next video is uh uh, an hour and 30 minute discussion on Mobius. We could. No, no. I was joking. But, but um, that sounds good. What are your opinions on? You want to hear your opinions on um, well, like, who you think should be in the Sinister Six and like your theories on whether Mortal Kombat is how they get their powers, just anything. Yeah, I mean, you could do theories on what you think. Spider-Man movie is going to be like theories on what, like Lincoln said, where people get their powers from, or in Mortal Kombat. And or who knows? Maybe just... if it's like really good, we'll cover it in the next one. Mm-hmm. There's a possibility because you know, 
William doesn't know everything. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I don't he think knows that's... more than me, but he doesn't uh, know everything. So, just comment down below because that that does help. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.